Surya YouTube channel. Recycling is a national responsibility. Nowadays, water become a precious natural asset all around the world. Bahrain country is taking lots of initiatives to save the water. One of those is recycling the sewage water. Today we will see the process and functioning of sewage treatment plant that is STP in Bahrain. This plant is constructed and maintained by Metito, the international reputed firm who have constructed various types of STP across the world. Up to 1000 liter of sewage water can be treated per day in this plant. Let us see the wonder of process and functioning to treat the sewage water. Firstly, the process is divided into four parts. Initial processing treatment of sewage water, post-treatment lab test, usage of treated water and sewage waste. Stage 1 Initial Process Collection of sewage water from various sources, houses, hotels and industries. Screening of collected sewage water, storage of screened sewage water. Sewage water collecting through sewage tankers. Collected sewage water stored in collection tank. Sewage water lifts and pumps by submersible pump to screening area. Three types of screening happens. Firstly, all oil and grease will be separated. Secondly, big size particles such as plastic rubber objects will be removed. Finally, particles below 7 mm will be filtered. In the screening process, almost 50% of sewage water will be cleaned. All the filtered materials will be sending through these pipes and collected in bins. Screened water will be sent to balancing tank or collection tank. And water control unit that is OCU provided separately in the plant. OCU will be connected to screening unit and balancing tank. OCU will remove the hydrogen sulfate gas that is H2S from the sewage water. H2S levels of 10 ppm and higher are considered as immediately dangerous to life and health. Balancing tank has sensors to control level of incoming water and aeration facility to keep good bacteria alive. If the balancing tank fails, the excess water will be temporarily delivered to storage tank and recollected. Storage tank will be closed at top always because this tank will not have aeration facility. Stage 2 Treatment of sewage water SPR method of treatment Further process of treated water that is effluent Further process of sewage waste From the balancing tank, the screened sewage water will be pumped to activated sludge tank for sequencing the batch reactor that is SPR process. SPR process is a vital process in STP. It happens in activated sludge tank. This SPR process has three stages. Firstly, activated sludge means activated good bacteria will be mixed with the sludge and normal water. Now we are watching how the activated sludge is mixing with the normal water. Process, screened sewage water will be pumped from balancing tank to this activated sludge. Now, the screened sewage water is mixing with the activated sludge in SPR tank. The second step is oxygen that is aeration is bubbled through the mixture of waste water and activated sludge to reduce the organic matter. The aeration process smashes the solids in wastewater. These are called air blowers, which are supplying oxygen for aeration functioning. The aeration helps to keep the active bacteria alive, smashes the solid matters and protect the odor from sewage water. After the aeration begins, the anoxic process or the nitrification process begins. By this anoxic process only, the sewage water is being cleaned. 
So, what is anoxic process or nitrification process? Sewage solids has more nitrate, NO2 nitrogen. Activated sludge bacteria utilizes the oxygen from NO2 and convert it into free nitrogen gas that is N2. This process is called as anoxic process for nitrification. After the anoxic process done, the water will be left for settling down for 30 minutes. After the settling process, the cleaned water will be stored at top layer and the waste will be at bottom layer. As a result of nitrification process, the sewage water is segregated as two different outputs. One is cleaned treated water and the other one is waste sludge. Bacteria may live actively for maximum 12 to 15 days. The inactive waste bacteria settle down to the bottom of tank. The collected waste bacteria with sludge will be removed in particular interval to the waste sludge holding tank. The anoxic process provides two outputs are cleaned treated sewage water and waste sewage sludge. Both the outputs have different further treatments and process to use it for various purposes. Output 1 the treated sewage water is undergoes for controlled chlorination in chlorine tanks. Chlorination is to remove pathogens and other physical and chemical impurities. Chlorinated water will be filtered by multimedia filters that is MMF to remove all suspended solids. Waste of MMF is sent to the lifting station after backwash done. Treated water will be sent to the final storage tank. After the filtration done, treated sewage water will be supplied through tankers for public use. Stage 3 Post Treatment Lab Test Test Frequency and Quality Limitation What will do if test result got failed? Treated sewage water is frequently tested by government technicians and plant technicians to ensure the quality of treated water. The allowable total dissolved solids that is TDS is 2000 ppm. Biological oxygen demand that is BOD is less than 10. In this plant, BOD is achieved 0. If the test result found negative, then the whole treated water will be sent to the storage tank for the reprocess. As told earlier, the nitrification process produces two out products. The first one is effluent water or sewage treated water which we have seen now. The second one is waste sewage sludge. Output 2. Waste sewage sludge will be collected in sludge collection tank till it reaches a mass quantity. Meanwhile, sludge will be aerated to prevent from odor. Collected sewage sludge is sent to dewatering tank to remove the water 20% from the sludge. Dewatered sludge is sent to greenhouse to remove the water for 80% from the sludge. After this process, the sludge will become as a powder. Usage of treated water and sewage waste Usage of treated water Treated sewage water is used for irrigation purposes, flush tanks and industrial process. Usage of sewage waste Dewatered sludge powder is used for irrigation purposes, cement production industry. The whole process will produce no wastage. All the outputs of sewage treatment process are used for various useful recycling processes. Friends, in this video, we have seen the whole process and functioning of recycling the sewage water and multi usages of byproducts of the recycling process. Save water, save earth. Thanks for watching.